Welcome back to AFAX. Now, Diamond Platinums is still in the US working on his album. He has been sharing what he has been up to there on his timeline and meeting the who and who's there. And uh, he has taken to his Instagram to share that he met with Snoop Dogg as well and they are actually working on something. But uh, one thing that he did share was the advice that he got from Snoop Dogg. I want you guys to listen to that. I got back with Dr. Dre with the Chronic 2001. Mm. And that did like that. But you see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's moments where you don't, you can't watch the numbers. Yes. Because if you watch the numbers, you'll believe that, man, I fell off. Man. Yes. You ain't fell off. No. It's somebody else that then came, like mm. you came. Now you got to work harder. Yes. When you first come, it's just you. And after you, it's a hundred niggas that's just like you. Because you yeah. making people that want to be like you right now. <laughs> sure. That's what you got to know. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't be mad. Yeah, you can't. You can't. When you see a nigga looking just like you, sounding you like you. You can't. <laughs> like about right like, <laughs> like, like everybody, right? Because you are what's right. You fashionably correct. Mm -hmm. All my homies was gangbangers. They was real gangbangers and drug dealers. But when I started rapping, they slowly but surely put their rags down, put their dope sacks down. I'm going to be a manager. I'm going to be a producer. I'm going to be a rapper. Hey, cause I'm getting in. Some way, I'm getting in this motherfucking rap game. And I changed the perspective of not only my neighborhood, but niggas on the West Coast. Rapping was cool, but it wasn't for everybody. When Snoop Dogg came, he made gangbangers feel like they could rap. Real gangbangers. Not the ones that was in the studio, but the ones that really had criminal records. And, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. that's who I was, and that's who I fucked with. So when I made it, I put niggas in the game that had real criminal records, which reflected... Man, I could change, because I was in jail, because I was locked up with that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. And where you from, you really inspirational. You talking about Tanzania, Africa? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Swiss. What's up, Jake? I stole somebody from you, girl, but I just want you to know I'm stealing it from you right now. Zah, 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 zah. <laughs> yeah, we finally met, cuz so we, we connected, you know what I'm saying? My homeboy Carver T brought him over here so we could meet, so we could build a brotherhood. And he told me that you exactly producing his record, so I'm just letting you know that we all in the same circle, we all family circle. I gotta let him see the room that DMX did his album, and DMX did his album that one more Yeah, the room that's doing the better Yes, his last album. Well, that is what is currently happening, and some people have also made a light moment out of this, saying that Diamond Platinums is just answering yes and yeah, right. He can't say more than those three words. Of course, as he is pushing himself, his critics are right behind him, trying to pull him down. But uh, he's out here making connections because you need those connections. Actually, having that connection with Swiss Beats, who is one of America's top producers, Grammy Award winner, it has opened so many doors for him to meet other people and even working with Alicia Keys. I believe it's a good thing for him, whether he speaks perfect English or not, so long as that they can communicate and understand each other. That is what matters. Anyway, guys, that is what is happening. You are up to date. Don't forget to subscribe. Please turn on your post notification. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.